Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Prince Williams County, Virginia, with the fraudster known as Nova Audits, as he attempts to complain about an officer who actually did his job, and that he tries to set him up as some sort of tyrant to his uh, commanding officer. But you know what? He's just another fraudster who tends to lie about everything, and the video proves that he was indeed lying. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. On June 17, 2023, Prince William County police officers from the Central District in Woodbridge, Virginia, responded to an officer reporting several fights breaking out at a silver diner and a gas station at a large gathering at the intersection of Smoketown Road and Gideon Drive. Well, you must be wondering why you see this handsome fellow on my screen. Let me introduce you to Jacob Enix, a tyrant. And you're going to see why he's a tyrant. Watch the video. Let me know what you think in the comment section below about this interaction. And then we'll go from there. Well, to be perfectly honest, Mr. Nova Audit, uh, I watched that whole encounter and I didn't see any uh, tyrants where that you thought were there. All I saw were police officers doing their jobs and uh, not even touching you, not even truly interacting with you except to answer a couple questions. And that's all I really saw. But let's carry on, shall we? I'm sorry, I didn't hear what you said. Well, let's roll that beautiful bean footage again and make sure that he didn't say anything against you, which I heard it, and he wasn't saying anything toward you, and, uh, well, that's probably what started this whole thing right here, the fact that you misheard. Leaving. Okay, this is all part of your complaint about this particular officer that he interacted with you quite positively at this point, and the next interaction you thought was pretty harsh. So let's carry on with that and see what it was. I said that this party shut down. Okay, can I get your name and badge number? Yeah, sure. My name is Officer Enix. Okay. My code number is 2991. All you can right. talk with my supervisor. He's yes, over there. Yes, please. That'll be shutting down. Yes, I'm not part of the party, sir. I'm just recording you guys in public. I'm uh, practicing my First Amendment right. Go ahead. Absolutely. Yes. Where's your car? Can part? I get your name and uh, batch number, sir? Officer Brown, 3381. Okay. I'm sorry, sir. I don't answer questions. Okay. You don't answer questions? Okay. No, sir. You have a wonderful night, okay? All right. You too, sir. Okay, let's take a quick look at that interaction right there. Yeah, he got a little too close, but all he did was put the uh, name tag in the range of the camera so you could see it better. He knew what was going on here. And second of all, he never told you to stop filming or anything like that. In fact, you named your whole video on the fact that uh, he got in this close to you and that apparently he told you to stop filming or something like that which never happened now thirdly uh 
He didn't ask you any questions, and yet you went right up to the next line in the fraud or the script and said, I don't answer questions, which that line was kind of out of the ordinary considering, yeah, like I said, he didn't ask you any questions, you moron. So you've got the fraud or the script memorized. You just can't use it properly or in a proper context. I mean, if he had started asking you questions, then that would have been a valid time to use it. But seeing as how you're a newbie frauditor, you're still new at this, I'm not going to cut you any slack anyway. I mean, you still failed this whole thing. And anyway, let's continue on. Supervisor, sir, do you know if he would be able to speak to me? I have a grievance that I need to uh, address with him in regards to one of your officers. Absolutely. Was it related to all this? Uh, yes. Well, I'm recording you guys in the uh, in your duties right now. So I, I see that, but yeah. one thing is the grievance you have wasn't related to this. No, no, sir. Okay. It so was I, related to the conduct of one of your officers. Well, what tonight? I'm saying is, was the conduct yes, tonight? Yes. Just, 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 uh, just two minutes ago. Okay. okay. Depends on which supervisor we're getting. That's what okay. I'm trying to No, that's fine. You know who the officer was? I, I have it on camera, sir. You, I'm just saying, though, you don't know. No, no, no I recorded his you name. You didn't get his name or anything? No, sir. I, I did. I did record it. How are you, sir? Good. How are you doing? Can I get your name and badge number, please? Yeah, it's Officer Kovacs, badge number 3469. All right. Thank you. Supervisor's on the way. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate it. A little longer than a few minutes later. Oh, the, uh, badge number. How are you, sir? I'm the supervisor. What can I do for you? Hi, can I get your name and badge number? Sergeant one Sife, 1462. Sergeant Sife? Yes. And you're the supervisor that is in charge of this call? All yes. right. I need to get the name and badge number of every officer that responded to this call uh, while I was exercising my First Amendment right in uh, the course of you, you guys' duty. Uh, one of your officers, I have it on video, uh, walked past me. He said something about, I, I couldn't really understand. Uh, once I asked him, I turned around and asked him, you know, what he said because I didn't understand. Uh, once he approached me, I asked for his name and badge number. And uh, he got about maybe six, more than six, uh, less than six inches away from me and shoved his name tag into my camera here. So I'd like to file a complaint, but I'd also like to get uh, your your name because I feel I, that I, I, I your told you my name is uh, Sergeant Sife and my badge number is 1462. Okay. Okay. As far as filing a complaint, let me explain how I, that works. I already know the process. I, I, if you know the process, then why are you bothering this guy? Because, well, he has better things to do than listen to some douche canoe who thinks that uh, somebody walking up to them, and like the officer did earlier, is a major, major incident. The officer didn't raise his voice. He didn't tell you to stop filming. He respected everything that you were doing, and he moved on. That's all he did. He didn't act like he was some big shot. He acted like he had a job to do when he was trying to get to it. I mean, that's all, you moron. But no, you want to stir up some trouble. You want to fire some officer. What did that officer ever do to you? I just wanted to make sure that you, are you guys from the Central District Central or District. Eastern District? Okay. Central District. So I'll be speaking with, uh, I believe, Captain Castillo. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Um, I just wanted to let you know, since you were the supervisor on scene, that your officer, you know, I, I will be requesting his body camera. Nobody can.
nobody cares, 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 Okay, and I will be following a complaint, but I just wanted to let you know in case this does come up from your captain that this was the situation. You know, I'm just doing my first amendment right here to record in public and record you guys in the course of your duty and yet nobody was trying to stop you because these cops they don't care about the cameras it is the actions and the words that are causing problems not the damn cameras as you can clearly see you damn douchebag and your officer was i feel in my opinion very disrespectful when he approached me the way he did. You Not know a what problem. I mean? Hey, um, I'm gonna email Captain Castilla and just let him know you're gonna be in contact with him. Yes. What, what was your name? I'm sorry, I don't get my information now. Okay. Unless I've okay. made any, That's fine. any All right. law. All right. That okay. Anything else I can get? No. Nope. Not that right. said. I just wanted you to be aware. Thank okay. you very much. Thanks, sir. All right. So we let the supervisor on scene know what was going on. Um, we will be requesting. All the information. Well, now there you go. It just goes to show you that you can't win with these idiots, so there's no re reason to bother trying to play around with them. I mean, you try to be nice to them, and they think that you're trying to uh, assault them. You try to uh, give them an order to move down the road so they can make sure the area is safe, and they think that you're violating their rights. And, I mean, it's just freaking ridiculous, dude. I mean, these people need to grow up and move on. And this particular one, he, I think he needs to go change his diaper because I think he let out a rather big stinker when that officer approached him. So let's go ahead and get on out of here so he can go ahead and do that because I sure as hell don't want to see that pile of crap coming out of him. So I, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.